about? I know you. Fireman. Appleby. Donna. Remember Liversalts was made out and went to Kilburn? Yeah. Oh, you're not Mrs. Liversalts, are you? Oh, no, it wasn't like that. I was his common law. We was shacked up together for five years. We was going to tie the knot, but we never. Uh, we was never introduced, you and me, but I remember seeing you a lot in the Swan and Sugarloaf. Yeah, well, me and the lads get in there quite frequent. Yeah, Liversalt spent his life in there when he wasn't at the station. For five years, I played bleeding second fiddle to Blue Watch, a couple of fire engines and a pub. I mean, you're not on your way in, are you? No, no, I'm at the end of my four days off. On tomorrow. Uh, can I get you a drink? I'll have a double gin and lime. <clears throat> um, double gin and lime and the usual, please, Conrad. How did the karate thingy go? Sorry? The karate thingy. The other night. He said you was going in for some competition. Oh, that, yeah. Right, yeah, T terrific, yeah. <laughs> Got my black belt. Oh, congratulations. Have these on me. Oh, cheers. I was looking for accommodation. You know, bed sit, anything. See, when me and Liversalt split, I moved in with me sister. But her old man's after me. You know, give him half a chance he'd be in there like a ferret. Oh. And Al Sue thinks it's me what's leading him on. I says, leave it out, I says. I'd rather be embraced by a sodden boa constrictor. Sue? Me sister. Well, it's not your fault you're attractive. Oh, I mean, you're Sue's husband. That's not fair. Well, it's taking advantage. Yeah. Maybe you should teach me karate. Uh, excuse me. What? I'm looking for Spanish for beginners. Oh. Sorry. Now, that's it, yeah. That's better. Excuse me. I've enrolled in a Spanish class and I don't know where... Uh, beginners? Yes. <laughs> so did I. I've no idea where it is either. Oh. Um, should we look for it together? David? Does it look so we might be classmates? <laughs> Josie. So which way? Well, I've already tried that way, so let's try this way. What's this? Snooker trophy. And this? Uh, that's darts, that's golf, and that's squash. You're quite a sportsman. Yeah, a bit of an all-rounder, really. Where's your black belt? Oh, I, I haven't got that yet. See, um, they have to measure you for it and send off for it, because it might not fit. So, you're more or less all on your lonesome, then? Just like me? Well, yeah, I mean, loads of mates, like. It's rare I'm in. But you live alone? Well, yeah, since, uh, since Mum went. You know. Oh, I'm sorry. No, oh, it, it was a blessed release, really. She'd had legs and a gallbladder for years. Nice, cosy little place. Must be worth uh, quite a few bob now that the area's come up. <laughs> All being gentrified. <laughs> That's what they call it, innit? Yeah. I can't keep calling you Fireman Appleby. Leslie. <clears throat> Leslie. That's nice. You're very shy, aren't you, Leslie? Not a very sociable bunch, our Spanish class. And I didn't think I was going to have to twist your arm quite so hard to get you to come for a cup of tea. Well, perhaps everyone will get more sociable when they know each other better. Anyway, I suppose a lot of the women have got babysitters and most of the men have got wives to go home to. Mm, I don't. No, I already guessed that. 
No, I don't have a wife to go home to. And since it looks as though we are classmates, yes, I am married, and there's a very messy divorce pending, and I'm at night school to learn Spanish. I'm definitely not looking for a man, OK? Gotcha. So, why Spanish? <laughs> well, after the messy divorce, I reckon I'll need a holiday. I fancy the Costa del Sol. I just bought a timeshare there. I'm an accountant. How about you? Firefighter, London Fire Brigade. So you are what is known as an emancipated woman? Yeah, I suppose I am. So there's no point in offering you a lift home? Definitely not. Hmm. Thanks for the tea. Well, that's not it. <laughs> Goodbye. you a little treasure? Yeah. Those buggers alive. He'd have performed a public service, Squire. All right, mate. All right. What? That's ammonia or something. What's in the rest of it? I need it shifting sharpish from behind. This lot's coming down, mate. It's gonna cost you. Someone may be laughing. You may hear her laughing across the crowd. Hey, I have a look. <sighs> He's not the ticket, is he? My Jew's not the only one whose lifts don't go right at the top floor, is he? <laughs> 20, 40, 60, 70, 80. And the score on two is a one. Choose any. I'll just pop down a post office bunk in the register, right? Oh, hang about. What about his job? It's maintenance for me ex Marion. Hey? I'm behind. I've got a court on me. You know how much my take home pay is? 150 bucks a quid. I'll see you in 20 minutes. Don't you bollock him well stitch me up. Ah! Fox sort of Hey? Oh, not that much, Max. You only need sufficient to break the surface tension of the water. See, I had this made in... Ouch. She's poxed off with fireman breathing down her neck while she's trying to do her job, aren't you, Max? What you got today is ham salad followed by clean peaches. Um, baby, if I could have a word with you when you've got a minute. About what? Well, um, let's just say it's a personal matter. What? It's about your B.O., is it? Any chance of a cup of coffee? Piece of mama's piece of pie? How long do you reckon this is going to take you, then? How do you mean? We've been at it for weeks. You're not doing other jobs, are you? No. Do a job on you, though. 
We'll um, do a bit each day. That way he won't never <laughs> Road and Ferry Street. Yeah, George, that gearbox still stands a bit tough to me. I'll button it, will you? He's got enough on his plate as it is. Excuse me, please, stand back, please. Can we stand back? Thank you. Please, we stand back. Let's get some light on this. Thank you. Well, have a bit of a storm in a teacup. I think we've got a threatened blaze in a Kentucky fried chicken box. Yeah. <laughs> that old's been there for ages. When my old man had a skinful the other night, he fell in, lost his tooth. Well, stand back then, love, and uh, when we finish, we'll uh, have a look for it. You yeah? Make sure you don't lose his rank. What is this for the eye jump? Oh, Mel, ask that little son if you like sex and travel. <laughs> Come on, eh? Join it. You can't get it, and if you want it, eh? Come on. You Come, and me are going to have a nice sit down and have champagne. Pop little Italian, ain't you? Not particularly. Come off it. With them great black eyes. What is this caper? Are you expecting a siege or what? It's for after the Holocaust. The nuclear Holocaust. A group of us have pulled our resources and we're building a bunker at Staines. It's been my turn to work on it nights. Oh, oh look. I'm oh, sorry. It's just been impossible to get any sleep round here. It's been a cancer with their pneumatic drills for weeks, and now you lot and your bloody sirens! <laughs> We're just a group of like-minded people hell-bent on survival. All us males have frozen our sperm. It's in the fridge. There's no law against it, is there? No law against what? How much longer are you going to be? Hold up, lady, hold up. Look, I can't get on. I've got no what boat. Where the hell are you be? Oh, there was a queue. What, all morning? Yeah, it was a long queue. What's the scaffolding? I ain't going up no manky ladder. You're supposed to be a wanking fireman. Come on, leave, mate. Now, listen. Now, you've had your sub and the sodding will get up there. Go on. All right. Go on. All right, I'm going, I'm going. Bank's a big business in the States, you know. You can make a bomb. Who can? Men can. Yeah? Well, well, geniuses can. No danger of any sperm being sold from around this table, then. Oh, I don't know. I flatter myself in thinking I might get a few bob for mine. No. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> of course, some of us don't have any to sell. Mm -hmm. 
Signal! Lay down, Judy. Area HQ, Divi driver. My shoulder. If you can ride a bike, you can drive a van. My osteopath says I'm to avoid steering wheels with my shoulder at all costs. It's one of the reasons I got the bike. That and to improve my lung and diaphragmatic power. I'm impressed. You're a man. Last time I looked, yeah. You ever felt it was love at first sight? I mean, just click with some bird, just like that. Looked into someone's eyes one night and thought, yeah, this is what it's all about. Well, it was like that with us. See, I suppose up until now, I've, uh, I've already been something of a loner. Right, lo loads of mates, yeah, in a pretty hectic sporting and social life. But, well, since Mum dropped off the twig, lacking that vital... Hang on. Well, when did all this happen? Last night. That's what I wanted to talk to you about. Last night? Oh, no. No. Last winter. Oh. You never said. I did. But Gov gave me compassionate leave. I was gutted. Well, what about the funeral? We, we never had a whip round for a reef one, I think. Not that I remember. Oh, the uh, funeral's on the same day as the cup final with British Rail. I expect you noticed I wasn't there. The Gov and Mrs Tate very kindly come. But I understood about you lot in the cup final. I, I mean, I said to the undertaker, normally I said, uh, take an earthquake to keep the lads away. Yeah. She, uh, she wasn't me mum. She was me nan. I called her mum because she brung me up like. And me mum, I called me sister kind of thing. Well, she got spliced when I was 13 and emigrated. I've still got a lot of respect for her mind. Don't tell the lads, eh? You got any idea, like, who your old man was? No, no, but I've been thinking of making inquiries. I seem to remember her saying something about someone with a title. For the cab, Leslie. Well, how much do you need? Tenner? Yeah. There you go. Thanks. Yeah, uh, keep it quick for yourself. more like it. Put the kettle on for us, Leslie, while I nip upstairs. This is Mum's room. It's the only double bed in the house. Yeah, but she died in it. Leslie, life must go on. Yeah, <clears throat> yeah, that's that's what I've been thinking.
jack that lark in, you know. Anyone can see it's not doing you any good. No. I don't give in easy, me. I'll be all right. Once I built up my muscles a bit, push myself for the pain barrier. <laughs> what have you got on? Aftershave. My bird gave it me. Toyed with your bonnet and all, did she? I'm impressed. Oi. You look a right bender. Do something about that. This is a working fire station, not the Royal Bleeding Ballet. The old sodding service is falling apart. Give them an inch, Gov, and they'll take the yard. That cat's been in pissed in here again. <laughs> all right, all right, it was a killer. I think I should warn you. I'm getting the right sod in amp with you. Oh, when he gets back, tell him that Donna's here. Here. I hope you've got proper authority to come walking in here. This ain't a public library. It's OK. I know my way about. I'll be in the TV room. Some of her mates was under there. She slept in there with them last night. Well, only one hour this morning to write some new tights. Gonna come home. <laughs> one day no more. Hey. Oh, my gear was in there. Who do I soon? You, uh, you are sure about this, are you, madam? Oh, well, how many do you reckon there are under there? Yeah. Well, whereabouts do you reckon they are? <sighs> I'm impressed. Tried shouting, have you? Cops were well dug in on that demolition job. <laughs> they want sympathy. <coughs> Charisma, there is a tar for you in the TV room. Maggie. Ooh. Not a jam tar, is it? Don't let the gab get when she's here, whoever she is. Moody's in fur or fly. She's come to do his barnet. Lately. Might have something to do with him still being saddled with his father-in-law. Oh. Of course, the Gov's not himself. Well, this looks like the chance he's been waiting for all his life. Cheers, man. Well, at least the Gov's well out of this little lot. supposed to come on a fire station without proper authority. But you didn't leave me no money this morning, Leslie. I can't do no shopping or nothing. Where's your office? 
Ambulance are in charge. Yeah. You see Charisma's tart? It's only Donna. Donna? Donna, Donna. That's her Christian name and her surname, is it? I don't know what surname is, do I? It's not kebab, is it? You remember Donna? Never sorts old common law. She gone, has she? Donna? Yeah. Yeah, gone shopping. Birds, eh? <laughs> Can't off get you. Bit in the nicest possible way. She's, uh, yeah, she's not going to suck a paella tonight. She's not moved into your gaff, has she? Well, we both thought that the adult thing to do under the circumstances, because it has been getting a bit, uh... Fierce? Yeah. Was, uh, sort of cohabit for a while. And if things run smooth, then maybe talk about, uh... Marriage. You ain't slung one up here, have you? George, George. This is neither the time or place to talk about Charisma's private life. Friggin' more cruise, ain't I? I heard that. Yes, it would have been nice. What? Honeymoon! <laughs> oh, don't start. Don't start. Tapping noise down there, sir, but it's been quiet for the last half hour. Has it? <laughs> you couldn't spare us a couple of quid, could you, guys? Hey, where'd you spring from? County Sligo! He's impressed. <laughs> Oi, you lot, out of it. All right, gentlemen, I'll ask you once, on your way. Come on, let him see. I take it these are the persons who are supposed to be buried alive? Yes, sir. Turned into something of a fiasco, hasn't it? Sir. Well, let's stop on it. All right, out the way, move back. Open. about you don't know she was before your time oh come on everyone else is in on it it's about this task moved in with charisma she's known as the martini girl any time any place anywhere <laughs> and this donna by all accounts is a right con artist and when she moved in with liversalt she didn't have a job or anything and well like i said she put it about and he uh well it gutted him he lost three stone he tried to get her to leave but um she wouldn't leave his gaff. Because she was his common law? Well, yeah. He went to the courts and she got half a very that he had, which granted wasn't much anyway. And you think she might be on the same con with Charisma? Well, why else is she with him? Perhaps he knows all about her. No. Nah. <laughs> oh, your real station officer material you are, John. Only six ETs in the entire area covered by the London Brigade. That's 620 square miles and over seven and a half million people. 
I was at... And you call out the whole cavalry on the say-so of a woman who the ADO informs me had so much meths in her bloodstream that if you'd struck a match by her, she'd ignite! Well, what are you waiting for? Queen's Award for cock-ups? See you, George. Mm. Fair enough. See you. 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 In an ideal world, you and Jerry ought to be able to sit down, talk things through, and come to some sort of arrangement. In an ideal world, Mike, just in case. Well, what I'm trying to say is, it's been on the cards for ages. Nobody's to blame but me and Jerry. You understand? Honest. I mean, if there was such a thing as straightforward divorce for adultery anymore, Jerry would be naming the entire London Fire Brigade as co-respondents. What about you, your day off? Going down to Broadstairs to see Karen. Is she coming back or what? She's in the clutches of her mum now. Last time I spoke to her, she said the doctor had changed her pills and she needed time to think. And Melanie's at school down there. Well, it'd be nice to see your kid. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to that. Oi! Don't let the buggers grind you down. Nor you neither. You hear me? Any chance of a cup of tea? I'll be in the kitchen if you want me. Just shout if you want me. I feel like some sort of wife beater when I come here. I don't want to come back, Mike. Not yet. No, no, you take as long as you like. Oh, uh... Well, you'd better give it to my mum. Is, uh... There's a bit extra there for a new coat for Melanie. The other one looks a bit short in the sleeves. I thought if you felt like it a bit later, we could uh, pick her up from school and uh, have a bite of tea out. My mum always picks her up. <sighs> yeah, well, gives us something to do, doesn't it, you two being here? I mean, what would you do if you weren't here? Once you dusted round, you know? I can't help it, Mike. <laughs> Don't. What would you say if I said I'd had it? I'd say, who with? Because you ain't had it with me for ages. No, I mean the job. I'm up to here with the job. I've been thinking seriously I should get out. Find myself something else while I'm still young enough. 
There's always openings for mature men of discipline and experience. What, men pushing 50? You've spent their whole lives in uniform. Where? Cinema, theatre, usherette? Or geared up in one of them long coats and a top hat with a cockade on it, opening car doors outside the Ritz? Come off it, Sydney. You're just a bit cheesed off, that's all. It'll pass. I hope you're all right, as I've started dreading it when the bells go down. My heart races. My mouth goes dry. I get hot and cold sweats. It'll pass, Sydney. Oh. It's only the menopause. How's my goal? Am I coming home with you? I want to come home with you. Mel. Shh, Mel. Listen. Melanie. Dad's got to go to work soon. It only upsets them, see? What are you planning to do while I'm out and watch tonight, then? What do you mean, what am I planning to do while you're out and watch tonight? What do I usually do? I don't know. I thought you might be going out or something. Tony, if I was going out, I'd say I was going out, wouldn't I? There was nothing in it. Jennifer and I came out of the pub and these two blokes started chatting us up, just as you happened to be going by. I wouldn't cheat on you, darling. Honest. I don't want you going out on watch with any doubts about me. I couldn't bear it if anything happened to you. Anyone comes, I'm not here, all right? You're never here. No, all right. But if anyone comes, I'm not here. And you don't know where I am or when I'll be home, all right? I never know where you are or when you'll be home. Can you say anyone? Anyone. Especially a bloke with a roof in Emma, all right? Sausage, mashed peas, and no pudding. If you don't like it, something will lump it. Children! Mm -hmm. Monkey ass! Just for you! Sounds too cost for Jerry. Hello? Who? How'd you get my number? We'll see how we feel after the class. All right, bye. Ah, oh, you're a lover boy, eh, Jones? For your information, you bunch of nosy ignoramuses, he's a fellow student at the Spanish classes I'm doing. This year I are off to sunny Spain. I'll be la España. 
if anyone's interested, he's asked me out for a drink. Is that what they call it now? Mission to come aboard! Hooray! Hey, 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 right, finally, it's liver song. Hey, Andrew! Did you have it one, didn't you? No. How's it going, Charisma? Terrific. What's it got to do with you? Any time, any place, anywhere. Oh, she was a right slag. You're well shot of her. Yeah, I did it. She took you to the cleaners, though. <laughs> George, what did they call him at Kilburn afterwards? What was it? Numb nuts. Numb nuts. <laughs> also known as Donna's disease. She told me all about him. All the time she was with him, he was knocking off another bird. And he promised to marry her, and he never. That is outrageous. Do you know how much lucre she bled off me? Which was hers by rights. And if you really want to know what sort of girl Donna is, she'd give all that to her sister so she could put a deposit on a starter home. And you know the thanks she got for it? Her sister's husband trying to get his leg over. She's been in the same line she spun me when I first met her. You know what to yourself. Well, she's going to make you look a right wanker. And not just here, but in the brigade. I love her and I trust her. She said you'd slag her off if I saw you. Well, me and Donna are all right. I don't need your advice. And you lot can keep your snaps out. I can look after myself. There's no flies on me. Is that me that I have to wear me helmet on me bum for the rest of my life? Bloody rubbish job. Request normal attendance. Look up, occupier here! Who called the brigade? But you better get right back. Does anybody know what's gone up in there? Go on back, it could be dangerous. You Off with me, he was poxed off with all of us. Poor sod. Will you get that car back? Thank you.
I was just going to get on the blow up at the hospital to find out how Charisma is. Anyone any idea who his next of kin would be now as his mum's gone? There's nobody listed on his card. I didn't know his mum had gone. Uh, what he never had a dad, his mum was his name, sort of thing. His real mum, he called his sister. She emigrated when he was a kid. He didn't say where. Well, he asked me not to tell the lads. And you never, did you? So, it's just the martini girl. <laughs> yeah, just the martini girl. Doctor or sister round anyway? Um, well, I'm just what I'm wondering. One shift just gone off, another's coming on, so. You got someone in here, have you? Yeah. Yeah, I've got a mate in here somewhere, fireman. Fireman Appleby? Yeah. You're not Donna? Yeah. <laughs> I'm Josie. I'm with him in Blue Watch. Do you know how he is? No, I just got this call saying he was in here. He got burned. Yeah. I thought I'd just look in before I went home. Tough, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> hope he's not so bad he can't work again. Or like he's been really badly disfigured. Well, if he has, he needs someone to stand by him. Yeah, well... I mean, you know, the thing is, I hardly know him. No. I don't suppose he hardly knows you, either. Leslie. Mm. What, Leslie? Any time, any place, anywhere. I knew it. I knew it. That liver salt's been slagging me off again, ain't he? 